Welcome to the Streamline Technologies Modeling Tips video series. In this video, we will review how to correctly apply rainfall to your study area. You might have noticed that there are three separate locations where you can specify a rainfall name in the Pro version of ICPR4, including the Simple Basin Data Form, the Manual Basin Data Form, and the Simulation Manager. You should typically only specify the rainfall name in one of these locations. As the modeler, you should determine where to specify that rainfall name based on how you want that rainfall to be applied. Do you simply want to apply a single rainfall distribution globally across your project? Or do you want to apply rainfall zones that vary across your project site? To set up your model for global rainfall distribution, you should leave the rainfall name parameter empty on the basin data forms. In fact, for this particular model, the right-click selection option is empty because I don't have any custom rainfall files copied into the model directory. If using simple basins, you would also leave the rainfall name empty here. Open your simulation manager to set the basin rainfall option to global for each simulation. Right click to specify the rainfall name. And then you can also type in your rainfall amount and duration. This model is now ready to execute the simulation with global rainfall settings. If you want to use rainfall zones for varying rainfall, you will first set up custom rainfall files as explained in the ICPR4 help menu. Once those files are in place, the rainfall name can then be specified on each individual basin data form. This can be done manually by right-clicking and selecting the custom rainfall file name, or more commonly this step can be automated using the Process Polygons tool for manual basins. If using simple basins, you would right-click to manually select the custom rainfall file name. Open the Simulation Manager to set the Basin Rainfall option to Basin Specification for this simulation. The rainfall data is all included in the custom rainfall files, so there is no need to specify a rainfall amount or duration here. The model is now ready to execute the simulations with varying rainfall across the project study area.